My name is Sarah Kirkham. And I'm Anna Warren. And we are Tactile Craftworks. We are a small leather crafting company based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we've been in business for about four years now. We really focus on making quality leather goods with old-fashioned techniques, but embellished with the modern technology of the laser cutter. Small accessories, things like journals, flasks, passport wallets. Our signature series is the Atlas series, which is a series of laser-etched leather goods that feature antique maps of American cities, and we've just now expanded to our first four international cities. One of our favorite things is when people see one of our products and they have to pick it up and say, my house is right here. Like They have to show us parts that are important to them. One of the tanneries that we use the most, Seidel Tanning, here in Milwaukee, is a family-owned business that's been here for generations. They've been supporting us through the whole process of our business growing, and that means that we can actually go to the tannery, look at our leathers, really be connected with the people who are making our materials. And I think that comes through in our work. Anna and I met 10 years ago. We started making things in the summers to sell it at craft fairs and farmers markets, and it wasn't until we encountered our first laser cutter that we realized maybe this thing that we were kind of playing around with could be a scalable idea. Within a month, we were prototyping our first Milwaukee map journal. It happened really quickly after that. Our aesthetic and our business really took a new direction. We never could have done what we're doing now without the laser cutters. Anna and I have both been using Dremel rotary tools in our crafting, I mean, literally since we were teenagers. The Dremel company has been around for a long time, and we know that they're a company that we can trust. When we got our first laser cutters, we spent a lot of time testing and getting the settings really dialed in. It took a long time just to get our first good cuts out of it. But what I like about the Dremel Digilab laser is how approachable it is. Mm -hmm. It's clearly made with the small business in mind, so there are features on it, like the perimeter test, like the camera capture, that really allow us to get the most out of our materials. We're making luggage tags to use up some of our scrap leather. So we're gonna start by importing the files. So these are all PDFs. So I'm gonna bring in the cut file first. Okay. We're gonna bring in the edge. And this one we're gonna select engrave. Oh, it lined it up right so it there. it automatically places it. One thing that's really cool about this program is that because we've designed these two files together, when we import them in, they're gonna lay on top of each other exactly as we want them to be. So we wanna line this up and then we just need to bring in the strap. Well, that we probably want to go vertically, right? Yeah. Like that? No, that's perfect, because we're going to have like hardly any waste around here. So if we wanted to add a custom design, like if we wanted to add initials here or do one of our map files or something like that, we could just add it in. Oh, that's so nice, instead right. of having to create an entirely new file. I want to try the auto array. Great. See if we can do more than one. Right now, we have a really clean piece of leather that we're working with. So we're gonna use this auto array feature to automatically multiply all of the files and snug everything up so that we aren't wasting extra material. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's really convenient. <laughs> this is gonna be so much faster than like completely recreating an entirely new file. Because we're using leather, which is an expensive material, and any time that you have a miscut or you have a misetch, that's money out the door. As a mm -hmm. small business, we cannot manage to mm -hmm. lose that money. This camera capture feature really allows us to place things really precisely to see exactly what we're working with so that we can use even the smallest scrap. Leather is a natural material, so not only is it not a square material, it also often has brands or scratches or holes in it. The camera capture is gonna allow us to place our pieces on the leather, so not only can we use every little bit of it, but that we can use all the best bits. We can avoid the holes, we can avoid mm -hmm. the brands, we can really get the most out of that piece of material. What's great about this is that we've got the veg leather setting here in the materials library. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're mostly working in leather, but as we're making things like for display or for trade shows, we're often using materials that we don't have a lot of experience with. Well, so then the materials library has all of these other selections in it. So if we wanted to try to make something in felt or another kind of material, we've got all of these starting places, like something that we don't usually use and haven't worked with before. That's really nice. So I'm gonna send the file to the laser. Excellent. So now you just go through the safety checks. We just hit all of these to then hit this twice, that's it? That's it. Perfect. About four minutes, is that for the entire project? Yep. I like the safety features on this laser, particularly the UL certification. That's something that we haven't seen on any other laser that we've seen on the market. They've gone through the testing. We can be sure that in our studio, we won't have to be concerned that the Dremel itself is gonna fail. Well, there's very little smoke out. Looks like it's gonna be a really clean cut. 
Something that we're really concerned with, especially with the leather, is this effect called smoke out. When the smoke basically travels over the top of the leather and can stain it. One thing that we figured out with the settings on the Dremel is that if you pass over this particular leather twice, the smoke is kind of sitting on top for the first one, but the second one it's really being pulled through by the filtration system. You can really see in the laser how well the ventilation is working. It's pulling the smoke right out of the laser bed. I love watching the pieces cut out so precisely. It's so satisfying every time to see those perfect little slices. And I like how we've been able to like snug everything together like that. We're really gonna get the most out of that piece. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder about adding some of our other designs to this luggage tag, mm -hmm. but I'm curious about like adding some of the maps in. We could just take this setup that we already have right. and just drag our map files in. We could test it out like that without having yeah, to yeah, totally yeah. recreate a file. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. We can do that just in the software. All right. Excellent. Look at that. That's a perfect cut. Well, it looks great. It really does. That's so clean. And there's almost no smoke out, too. So all I'm going to do is line these pieces up, give myself a little mark as to how far I need the glue to go. We have our contact glue here. And I'm just going to do a really thin line around the edge. It'll keep it in place, keep everything lined up uh, so that we can stitch it really cleanly. That you want both the physical and the chemical bonding to really create a product that's going to last. I'm going to go ahead and do this on both sides. Let it dry until it's clear. I like that we can really embrace the laser cut edge in our aesthetic. I think the black adds a really nice contrast on the edge mm -hmm. and it complements the etching that we do on top of the product. Absolutely, it creates a really clean finish. Mm -hmm. This is our piece of transparency. Let's really make sure we've got everything well lined up and then really carefully pressed together. That'll hold everything in place so that we can cut our stitching groove. We've already pre-measured the distance that we want from the edge for the stitch. Perfect. I think the key to good stitching is to try and be really precise. We're using a nylon thread, which is nice and strong, and we're also using a needle that's specifically made for this weight of thread and this leather. To finish our threads, we like to trim and melt. Just enough to melt that down and smooth it in. I'm just gonna take this piece of beeswax and drag it along the finished edge. This not only gives it kind of a nice gloss, but it helps to protect it. So I'm gonna take my Dremel rotary tool. This is a specialty head that will help to burnish the edge of the leather and melt in the wax. And as the final pass, I'm just gonna take a scrap of natural leather and give it a good buff along the edges. If there's any wax that's melted onto the face of it, this will kind of help to clean that up and give it one last final shine, which really gives it that finished look. So all of our edges are finished. I think it's time to set the hardware on the, on the strap. I'm gonna be taking our brass buckle and I'm gonna be setting a jiffy rivet in it. And we've got this little setting tool. I'm just gonna give it a couple good hits. Perfect. And then we're gonna use a simple screw stud for the final hardware on the actual luggage tag itself, which are just two pieces that go together this way. Screw the stud button on, and the leather itself secures it. And we just attach our strap, like so. Luggage tag. I love that having the Dremel Digilab laser in the studio made it so easy to make such a cool product out of material that we would have thrown away. I think it's really going to not only enhance our line, but bring down our overhead, which is always something that we're so concerned with in a small business. The Dremel Digilab laser cutter really made this an easy project, making this luggage tag.